Operations. Offline Trusted Store. Offline Workflow. Offline Trusted Store Activation in Three Steps. Before we begin outlining the workflows, we would like to introduce the concept with an overview. Some products, like Dezigo CC or Cerberus DMS, do support the activation of licenses on trusted store, which means that the license is bound to hardware components of the machine in the trusted environment. LMS supports two workflows, the online and offline activation method. The online trusted store activation is explained in a separate tutorial. The offline trusted store activation workflow is used if the target or customer computer does not have an internet connection or is not allowed to access the internet. This process requires also an engineering computer with internet connection. The workflow is divided into three main steps. Step 1. In the LMU of the target or customer computer the corresponding request file needs to be created. Step 2. In the LMU of the engineering computer with internet connection the response file needs to be generated. And Step 3. In the LMU of the target or customer computer now the response file can be processed, and this triggers the activation. In Step 1. The target or customer computer is without any internet connection. An email of the license ordering is present. In the LMU, the user selects all the features that need to be activated offline from the email of the license ordering. The user creates the corresponding request file and makes sure that the request file is available at the engineering computer. The prerequisites for any offline activation on trusted store are the LMU is installed on a target or customer and on an engineering computer. Both machines are acting in a trusted environment. An internet connection is required on the engineering computer and the connectivity to the back office license server is tested. An email of the license ordering is present at the customer site or for Siemens employees the information is also available via LMS cockpit. The LMU application offers in the Activatable Items page an own, separate section named Offline Workflow for this purpose. All upcoming actions take place in this area. This area is divided into the three steps we just explained earlier. Step 1. Generate request file, and here we also find the note that this step does not require an internet connection. Then step 2 with the generation of response file where an internet connection is required because the computer needs to connect to the back office server, and this is done on the engineering machine. Finally, in step 3, we find ourselves back on the target or customer machine and execute the processing of the response file. We are now performing the first step, the generation of the request file on the customer computer and select for this the node activation ID in the section Generate Request File. In the offline workflow, only the use of activation IDs is possible as we can see here in the operation pane. The radio button manual is already pre-selected automatically. Now we need the information of the license ordering. In our case we copied the information on a text file. Each license information contains one entitlement ID and represents the license model in the product that a customer has bought with quantity. Each entitlement can contain one or more products. In our example the entitlement contains six product articles. Each article has an own activation ID. Each activation ID for each product must be copied individually and entered in LMU individually before the request file for the entire list can be generated. Paste the copied activation ID of the first product in the field activation ID. Also here, it is possible to select a specific start date, but we use the current date again. By clicking the button Add Activation ID, the product appears in the Activate Line Items page. When ordering the license, one product was ordered in the quantity of three and we need only one of them for activation. With the Install Count feature, we have the option to activate only a subset of an order if needed. In our case the quantity 1. In the view pane, the number of this product is confirmed now with 1 and not all. 
we continue with the workflow and add also the remaining four products. In the view pane, six products with activation ID are visible and the activation license button is enabled to execute the creation of the request file. We click the button and the save request file dialog box opens. Select a location to save the file and enter an adequate file name in this box. In our case we select the previously created folder offline trusted store and name the file just offline request. We click on the button save and acknowledge the successful feedback. The file has been created successful and now make sure that the request file will be available at the engineering computer. In step 2. The engineering computer is connected to the back office license server. In the LMU, the engineer manually copies the generated request file on the engineering computer and loads them up to the LMS server. The engineer generates the corresponding response file sends them to the target computer. We are now performing the second step the generation of the response file on the engineering computer and select for this the node offline license activation in the section generate response file. Use the browse button to get to the request file and click on open. Please note that the response file generated afterwards will be copied to the same location where the request file is located. For this reason, we recommend selecting the option generate response name automatically. With this the response name will be created by adding a .resp postfix. If not set to generate response name automatically, a response file name will be requested from the user. By clicking on the button save response, the response file will be generated and saved in the same location where the request file is located. The status bar shows the process and a window pops up confirming the successful operation. The new response file has been created successful and now make sure that this file will be available at the target or customer computer. In step 3. Back to the target or customer computer without any internet connection. In the LMU, the user manually copies the response file. The user processes the response file and with this the licenses will be activated. We are now performing the third step the processing of the response file on the target or customer computer and with this the license or licenses will be activated. Select for this the node import response file in the section process response file. Use the browse button to get to the response file and click on open. By clicking on the button, process response file, the license or licenses will be activated and a window pops up confirming the successful operation. In the title bar we can see two changes, the customer site ID and the subscription expiration date is now displayed. After activation, we find the licenses on the page, Licensed Products pane. By opening the tree in the navigation pane, all installed products are visible. We do the same in the view pane, in the Licensed Products page. The single products are indicated with the T symbol, which means that this is a trusted store license, and the trust flag has the status fully trusted. Further we have the following information. Activation IDs. Issued date. What date the license is started on. The expiration. The CSID number and that the CSID is enforced. This is the reason why the CSID is displayed in the title pane. By clicking on the small arrow, even more information of the product in question will appear. In the licensed products page, there are also the buttons expand, collapse. Create license report does create a report in TXT format. Offline return of licenses in three steps. After activating licenses, the tool in the operation pane allows to return the license offline. This function transfers the license rights back from trusted storage to the back office server. License activation on trusted store means that the license is bound to hardware components of the machine in the trusted environment. Therefore, trusted store licenses must be returned offline for the following reasons. If it is foreseen that a physical machine will be replaced. If it is envisaged that replacement of hardware components will take place on a computer. 
if it is foreseen that a virtual machine in a trusted virtual environment will also be replaced or copied. If major Windows updates are planned or a major Windows version upgrade is imminent. In cases of hardware components change, consequently the trust flag loses the fully trusted status and thus the license becomes invalid. The workflow is also here, divided in three steps and follows the same concept as for activating the license. In this step 1 we will again create first a request file on the target or customer computer. In the licensed products page expand the license or licenses. It is possible to return all or single elements. In our case, we will return all licenses back. For this, select in the view pane all licenses. In the operation pane select the radio button manual return and click on the execute button to start the process for creating the request file. At the confirmation dialog press OK to approve. In the following dialog box we select the known folder offline trusted store. Name the file offline return and click on save. With the acknowledgement of the window pop-up starts the process. The status bar shows the performance status. Finally, a window pops up confirming the successful operation. By expanding the product family, we can see that the licenses in the trust flag column are marked in red and if we hover the mouse cursor over them, the tooltip indicates that the license is disabled, which means that the product is no longer licensed. This is also confirmed when we switch to active in query and cannot detect any activated licenses, and when we switch to disabled, we can again detect the statuses marked in red. In the folder offline trusted store the file offline return has been created successful and now make sure that the request file will be available at the engineering computer. We will now switch to step 2 of this process. We are now performing the second step, the generation of the response file on the engineering computer and select for this the node offline license return in the section generate response file. Use the browse button to get to the offline return file and click on open. Please note that the response file generated afterwards will be copied to the same location where the request file is located. For this reason, we recommend selecting the option Generate Response Name Automatically. With this the response name will be created by adding a .resp postfix. If not set to Generate Response Name Automatically, a response file and name will be requested from the user. By clicking on the button Save Response, the response file will be generated and saved in the same location where the request file is located. The status bar shows the process and a window pops up confirming the successful operation. The new response file has been created successful and now make sure that this file will be available at the target or customer computer. We will now switch to step 3 of this process. We are now performing the third step the processing of the response file on the target or customer computer and with this the license or licenses will be removed. Select for this the node import response file in the section process response file. Use the browse button to get to the response file and click on open. By clicking on the button process response file, the disabled license or licenses will be removed and a window pops up confirming the successful operation. The licensed products and the view pane are now showing empty pages. The licenses are now deactivated on this computer and are available for reactivation on another machine, or on the repaired machine with new hardware components, or on the same machine with updated or upgraded operating system. Repair of offline trusted stored licenses. The offline trusted store operation mode supports another feature that is only valid for licenses on trusted store. The repair feature. Licenses in the trusted store may get damaged in case of hardware changes or when the system time changes more than 24 hours. This example shows the trust flag status on host time. This is when the system time has changed more than 24 hours. With this, the repair button enables and allows to perform the repair function. In the previous topic, we pointed out the situations in which the licenses must be returned and then reactivated without losing validity. However, in certain cases the license can be repaired. To understand the topic better, 
We use a document from the GMS family, or in other words the Dezigo CC product series, the document license validity in Dezigo CC. Other products also using the method of trusted store licensing might provide similar information. This document lists the cases in detail where licenses in Dezigo CC can be repaired or not. The first table in this document refers to the case where the product runs on a physical machine. In three cases the license can be repaired. And the second table refers to cases where the product runs on a virtual PC and which of these cases can lead to a license that cannot be repaired. This information shows how important it is to return the license before performing such actions. The offline workflow to repair the license is the same as when returning the license which we explain in detail in the offline return of licenses chapter. The difference is, that in this case the process is started in the repair operation pane by pressing the repair button. This are the steps to create the request file on the customer computer. First, select the licensed products view. Click on the tab repair in the operation view. Make sure the manual radio button is selected. Select the trusted store license you want to repair. Click on the repair button to execute the task and this will start the process for creating the request file. From now on, the workflow is the same as for returning. In the dialog box define a name for the request file, select a location and save the file. Make sure that the request file will be available at the engineering machine. Steps 2 and 3 are the same as we showed in the offline return of licenses workflow. You can find the necessary information in this chapter. As a preliminary information, we briefly mention the two steps here. In step 2, in the LMU tool of the engineering computer, the response file is created based on the request file created in step 1. Make sure that after that this file is available at the target or customer computer. In step 3, in the LMU tool of the target or customer computer, the response file is processed, and this will repair the license. In the licensed products pane, by opening the tree in the navigation pane, the repaired license now shows again a fully trusted status in the column trust flag. In cases where this function cannot repair the license, please contact customer support.